Hi friends. We're on the floor in my craft room. And um I got mail. So there's this thing that happens in April. 30 inks, 30 days. And I haven't been doing it. The idea is like every day you write with a new ink. And I don't have, well, maybe I have 30 inks. I don't have 30 pens, I don't think. So, uh, but I did get new ink. Look, I don't know where I was going with this. I got new ink from the Birmingham Pen Company. They're based in Pittsburgh, as that card said. Then they sent me this. They included this little, like, page marker, book marker thing, which is cute because it looks like a fountain pen nib. I mean, it's cute no matter what because it's shaped. Oh, look at this. A little cork, like, business card. Super cool. Their boxing and packaging game is on point. It's nice. They, I wouldn't mind if they were... Um, thingy. If they didn't do it. So, we got paper. I didn't even order this paper. They sent it to me for free, right? And then this is like a note that's like saying thank you for stuff. And then they told me what I ordered. And here's what I ordered. These two little parcels wrapped up in what could be toilet paper but isn't. I wonder if you could use this toilet paper. We're not in those dark times anymore, though, are we? I think that's good. This cork is. Okay, so I got a bottle of ink. Hurrah! They do not put the names on their um, boxes, which is fine, because you know what that means? That means they, um, it's less wasteful. They're not having to waste stickers to label them. They're not having to get a special box for each ink, etc. I'm cool with that. This ink, I kind of had to get because of the name and the color is good too. But this is called California Raisin. And it's a raisiny color. Look, I'm not showing you right now. I'm going to make another video where I show you the inks. So that's fine. And then here, whoop, it's a fun noise to make. Um, see if we open this one right side up. I did it. This one is Eroded Bronze, which I recall being a sort of a pale verdigris color. But we'll see. It's a surprise even to me. They have different formulas for their ink, etc., etc. Well, you can watch somebody else's videos if you want them to be explained to you. Or a future one from me. Then I got mail from one of my favorite pin stores. Goulet. And so let me explain why this came about. When I was kind of deciding that I wanted some more inks. I was like, you know what, I want a really good purple. And I found this ink online. And I saw pictures of it. Well, of course I found it online. And um, this color of ink was perfection. It was everything I wanted in a purple ink. It was called... It was by a brand called Colorverse, who I hadn't heard of before. And it's called Pillars of Creation, which is the name of uh, a nebula. Or a picture of one of the nebulas. Uh, and that's not completely clear to me. And I knew it needed to be mine. And that's when I discovered it was sold out everywhere. And it was basically like a limited thing. And I couldn't find it anywhere. Oh, no. So the other day I was looking around. Anyway, long story short, Goulet had the ink. And as Colorverse does, it comes with two. It comes with the Pillars of Creation and this one called Mystic Mountain. And I'll tell you what, I'm excited about Pillars of Creation. No lie. But I might 
be even more excited now for Mystic Mountain. This is one of their glistening inks and it's like a pale sort of periwinkle color with a shimmer in it and basically it looks like magic and pillars of creation if you see this picture how it's purple with this like green that's what the ink looks like kind of a lot like maybe van diemen's royal starfish but i think that maybe the purple in this leans just a little bit more magenta where the purple now leans a little more eggplant anyway look i'm excited okay we can tell and then i got this sticker and the sucker that i got is green flavored let's hope it's apple and then i got more coloring cards for swatching my inks because i'm getting low on these cards and i signed up for that thing where they were going to send me samples of ink and so i might run out so I got more. And I got another pen. <laughs> Look, the Twisby Go comes in three colors, and now I have them all. So it's fine. I got the Twisby Go in smoke, in a broad nib. Um, I will put one of these inks in it, okay? We'll make, uh, maybe make another video for that. I might be too impatient. Who knows? We know. I'm too impatient. We'll see. So here's my little go. I just love these guys. They're so chonky. They're like, they're like me in pin form, you know? They're built like gymnasts. Short and stocky. Um... At any rate, those are the things I got. Yay! Ridiculous, I know, but I'm happy. And this is more than half of the ink that I'm expecting to arrive anytime soon. I still have a package en route to me from Turkey. Uh, so, who knows? Maybe that'll come this week. Maybe it won't. Um, but I have to be done now because I have video games to play. So thanks for hanging out. Don't gesture with knives in your hands. It makes people feel uncomfortable. Thanks for watching.